We want to find the Laplace transform of the function t times cosh of 2t plus t squared times sine of 5t plus t cubed. So in order to do this, first recall that the Laplace transform of t to the n is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So we'll take the Laplace transform of t cubed, which n is going to be 3, so that's 3 factorial over s to the 3 plus 1 power. Simplifying, we get 6 over s to the 4th. So the goal here is to find the Laplace transform of each of these three terms. We found the last Laplace transform term. Now, to solve the next two, we want to use this formula. So whenever you take a Laplace transform of t to the k times a function f of t, that's the same thing as saying negative 1 to the k power times the kth derivative with respect to s of the Laplace transform of the function. So when looking at t squared sine of 5t, k is equal to 2, so we have negative 1 to the second power. Now we have to take the second derivative of the Laplace transform of sine of 5t. So the Laplace transform of sine of 5t, that's basically a over s squared plus a squared, where a is 5. So that's 5 over s squared plus 25. We have to take the second derivative of that. And the second derivative will just be uh, negative 10 times negative 3s squared plus 25 over s squared plus 25 cubed. The negative 1 squared becomes positive, And so we don't really care about that term. Now let's find the Laplace transform of the first term. So t times cosh of 2t. Here k is equal to 1. So it's like negative 1 to the first power. That's just negative 1. And now we take the first derivative of the Laplace transform of cosh of 2t. So recall that the Laplace transform of cosh of at is s over s squared minus a squared. So in this case, a is 2. So we have s over s squared minus 4. And so putting it together, we know we have negative 1 times the derivative of the plus tra transform of cosh of 2t, which is s over s squared minus 4. So when you take the derivative, multiply by negative, we get 4 plus s squared over s squared minus 4 quantity squared. So now we found the Laplace transform of all three terms. So all you have to do is just add these together, and this is our final answer.